What's up, everyone? Jacob Roach back here from the Killing Joke Studios and Mixing with Metal. I have a quick tip for you guys today, uh, and I'm going to be doing a series of these quick tip videos just so you guys have a convenient spot to find anything that uh, you may be wondering or any. You know, I, I, I've been on Pro Tools for five or six years now, and I still have questions about how to do things every once in a while. And so that's kind of what I'm doing uh, with these quick tip videos. So today we're going to be talking about a basic function and something that's super important to tracking, and that's setting up a headphone mix. Headphone mixes are really important because if somebody can't hear what they need to hear, they're not going to track effectively, and that's a problem. So setting up a custom headphone mix for whoever's recording is really important so that they can feel comfortable recording and they can give the best performance possible. So how do we do this? Well, first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure our interface has more than two outputs. Okay, so our interface or our converters has a separate pair of outputs besides our monitor outputs. Okay, so we have our stereo pair of outputs for our speakers and we need to have one more, at least one more pair for someone else. You could use a headphone amp, but that's not really applicable for this kind of setup. So we need two more outputs. So we have two more outputs and we're going to link a, uh, a stereo... Uh, cable like a splitter that that culminates into a female quarter inch plug that we can plug a TRS a balanced signal into and run to a headphone amp uh, or you could run stereo cables to the headphone amps but yeah we're going to need to un plug that in and then run it out to the headphone amps so on the software level here's what we're gonna do we're going to our IO Okay, and we're gonna go to our outputs. Now my outputs are named a little bit differently just because of the software I'm using to record this video. Don't worry about that. You should see something similar with your applicable outputs. So um, I have my, my outputs one and two for my monitors. Okay, and now I'm gonna go to my next available outputs, which is output three and four, and I'm gonna put headphones, okay? So I have this set up. So this is my headphone output now, and that's running to my live room or wherever it needs to go. So I have that all set up. And now what I'm going to do is say all these tracks are loaded up with audio. Let's say this is guitars and bass and, you know, everything that someone needs to hear in order to track. And we're going to go over to the send. Okay. And we are going to send out our headphones. So that's our headphone mix. So now we have our headphones and we can control the level of the mix. Okay. And that's basically all you need to know. And you just could copy this over to other tracks and you can go from there. What I would do is set this up in a template, a tracking template, so you're already ready to go, and you just copy this over. All right, and now you have faders for everything you need to hear. So I need a little less vocal. Okay, turn down the vocal, whatever. Whatever you need to do to make sure that happens. Uh, another quick thing that can be helpful with this is if you go to the letter and you right click, you can go send B, for instance, and they'll show you the fader right there. So you don't even need to pull this up. Oh, hey, I need less vocal, cool, boom. It's done. Or, hey, I want you to mute the vocal, but I still want to hear the vocal in the tracking room. Boom. They don't have a vocal anymore. Okay? So this gives you an independent routing so that they can hear something separate from what you are hearing. And that's really good because you can monitor things in a certain way, and maybe they don't have to. You can monitor you know, uh, what, how you want to monitor and they can monitor how they want to monitor. So I hope this is helpful for you. Again, this isn't supposed to be long. If you have any quick tips or any questions about Pro Tools or certain things uh, to do with Pro Tools, just audio in general that you think would be fitting for the series, make sure to let me know in the comments below or shoot me a message and I'll make sure to make a video on that. Thanks so much for tuning in guys and I'll see you next time.